What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. I'll be your host today, and we're doing some Magic Online Arena gatherings. We're gathering with the Magic Online Arena. Dot com. Looks like... It looks to me... And I'm no expert here. Where did it... Did I just save this deck somewhere? Did it not go anywhere? Alright, well... I, down, I hit download. Where did you save it to? I don't know where you're saving this deck to. Oh, you're on the, you're on the desktop. All right, I don't understand, but browse. Oh, I didn't. It's not okay. Uh, okay, I get it. I get it. Okay. Uh, F E R N A all time mid range. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so what we're gonna play today is this sweet Sultai mid range deck. Let me know what's let me know what's easier to be. I wish I could raise this. I really wish I could raise it. I hate that there's like so much space up here and like no space down here, and I have to like scroll to just see my whole deck. It really feels claustrophobic to me. However, that's just me, I guess. It's probably not just me, but it's 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 just me. One Assassin's Trophy, four Hydroid Crassus, which should not be in this spot, but we'll just put them over here because that's where they belong. Uh, four Incubation Druid, four Lanawar Elves, four Thief of Sanity, which I'm a big fan of. One Jade Light Ranger. That's an interesting choice. Just one random Jade Light Ranger. No, no Merfolk Branch Walker or Wild Growth Walker, which is interesting. This deck went seven two in a standard premiere in the hands of uh, X Y Moito. I don't know how to pronounce that. I don't think I should either. I don't think that's an expectation for my for any college level courses. And uh, we got one Frilled Mystic, also not a fan of that. I am a fan of Four Thief of Sanity, so these are kind of canceling out. Three Hostage Taker, two Vraska's Contempt, three Vivian Reeds, four Hydroid Crests, one Carnage Tyrant, two Find Finality, and then we got a bunch of a bunch of dirty lands. Either way, if you guys are watching on YouTube, definitely check out CoolStuffInc.com. You can get 5% off with promo code FRANK5. So, uh, knock yourselves out with that. And, uh... The deck list will also be in the description, so be sure to check that out. Did someone say scroll? I don't think anyone did say scroll. But maybe. Wait, how do I link in chat? Don't you just copy and paste? <laughs> I don't think it's anything... I'm going to keep this hand. I like a turn two thought, thought cast into Sanity Scour. It's not working? Well, that's weird. You're a mod and a one-year subscriber. And I, I can't imagine why that wouldn't work, but... What do I know? Oh, what do we got here? Oh, you're gonna... Oh, yeah? yeah? Oh, yeah. Let's get rid of that. I want to put this on the bottom. Oh, yeah. We're done here. You have two turns to draw an answer for this guy? Oh, buddy. Listen, buddy. This guy's gonna get you. If you get tired of playing a deck with good cards, then I have a garbage deck. For Christ's sakes. Come on, dude. Oh, I'm the top deck champion of my high school! Oh, you scumbag. So we know all the cards in their hand and we're only going to hit a Chemist's Insight. That's unfortunate. Wow. I literally watched all your YouTube videos and finally had a chance to catch you on Twitch. I wanted to support you with subscribe, but I don't really use Twitch more much and I'm not sure how to and what can I tell you I'm actually not uh, this has actually been an issue for a long time having having a way to subscribe on mobile I think you just literally have to go to your browser and go to the Twitch page on your browser oh Akaya's Wrath huh well that's probably better than the Chemister's Insight maybe I don't actually know yeah get out of here I guess we're just attacking for one here 
Because I'm really the kind of person that's not going to play Hydroid Crafts for three. Because, come on. Ain't nobody got time for that. Also, Apollo Blarkley, thank you so much for the support. Really appreciate it. Chad Bradbury, thank you so much for the gifted sub. Oh, another thought erasure. Show me what you got. Oh, how oh nice. So I basically got to do it anyway, I guess. Wow, I can't like, I'm pretty sure this match, this entire game was decided when our opponent magically top deck a moment of craving in his top two cards to deal with our Thief of Sanity. Alright, well. Seems good. So your draws have been Absorb, Mortify, Moment of Craving. Seems good. Seems good. Would you like to see what you can't stop nature? Oh, it's your boy. Oh my god, they're so good. They have the answer every single time. This is a mate. Wow. So your draws, let's be clear. Moment of Craving, Absorb, Mortify, Thought Erasure, Vraska's Contempt. Literally the perfect number of answers for everything we've played. It's more impressive than anything. I think I'm more impressed than anything. Is it me? Am I crazy? Is this a totally normal, re a reasonable number of things to draw? I can't tell. I can't tell if I'm biased or tilted. Oh, good. How oh, good. Must be nice. Oh, yes. Now I feel like you've drawn a chemistry's insight. So you will... Oh, good. Hostage taker. But I have no desire of playing when they're 21 life. I'm not sure this will get countered. Yeah. To the surprise of no one. Where were you earlier, buddy? Nope. Don't like that. I mean, on the bright side, any of our four, uh, three Hydroid Crests remaining are in pretty good shape. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have eleven lands. That's pretty insane. I mean, I'm at a point where, like, I don't care about walking into a Kaya's uh, rap. I mean, if you want a two for one, me Atlanta, we're all versus Frilled Mystic. It's totally fine. Wow, we just won that game? That's pretty insane. You had infinite draws. I have no idea how we won that game. Or why we won that game. Okay, so let's take out the cast downs. Let's take out... That's weird. 
that seemed uh, extremely hasty, but what do I know? I want one more cut. One more cut. Because I want to bring in two duress, two negate, a disdainful stroke, and a frilled mystic. So I gotta cut one thing. Probably find finality, but find finality is very good against Kaya's wrath. I don't like. I, I'd rather cut an incubation druid than an elf, just because elf does let us play thief on turn two, but. Oh, uh, let me find it. Got it. This deck does look sweet. Alright, um, do I just want to cut a land? I could just cut on 24 lands, which I think is actually reasonable. We're going to do that. I wish we had slime covered cookies. That's where I want to be in one. <sighs> so you cut a land, and this is what happens to you. I'll keep this one. Yeah, I'm gonna keep that too. Unmoored ego. I don't think I want you to get my my gentleman yet. My crassises, if you will. Let's see what you have. Uh Okay. Weird. MTG Arena, ladies and gentlemen. MTG Arena. Everything is terrible. Thank you so much for the resub, buddy. 12 months. One whole year of memes, mics, and mana problems. Keep up the good work and try to draw more and or less lands. I appreciate it. I'll see what I can do. Alright, well. Yeah, I'm like, I don't think you understand... I will keep this hand. Mm, yeah, all right. It's not great, but... Yeah, I feel like I'm like, hey, you're playing control, and you're just going to give up on turn four when I play one Thought Erasure? That's interesting. I feel like you don't grasp the whole aspect of this control. I had a question. Would you be willing to play a Pauper League tomorrow with my deck? I know it's last minute, but I have surgery and have to be in... Um, yeah, I can do that. Is Pauper a thing? Like on Magic Online we're talking about? They have popper leagues? I don't even know. This would be totally for you, buddy. I would totally do that. Do you want me to play a league, or do you just want to play some matches where I can actually give feedback and make some changes in between? I'm not sure. It's up to you. If you just want the entertainment value, then I'll just do a league for you. Dalkry, send me an email and uh, let me know. Uh, let me know what you want to do. If you, the email, my email address is in my. It's frank at franklapore.com. It's not. It's not hard. Uh, Sky first strike. I'm not attacking. I'm gonna say no attacks. I will decline to attack. Oh, I should have. Oh, I'm so stupid. Nah, actually, I'd rather kill that. So I guess I'm not stupid, but I'm not smart either, so... Right. 
Raska's Contempt off the top one time. Dockery, sounds good. That actually sounds like a blast. I'm looking forward to it now. Um, I don't know what to do here. I don't want them to trigger this next turn, but the only creature we can block to stop that is the vampire because this guy has afterlife. I'm gonna no block it. I also want to be able to play a hydroid crassus if we hit a land, which we did, so that's pretty good. Super Fritz, have a good have a good day at work. I was gonna say have a good job. <laughs> that doesn't work. What's happening here? Infinite attacks? All right, I'll block. I'll block the the, the tooth taker. That doesn't even make any sense. You got it. I actually feel like we're okay now. I feel like we've gotten to a good point. You guys have a good have a day at the job. Uh, seven mana, so we can go Vivian Reed kill this. It comes back. Could Hydroid Crassus again. Keep up a blocker. A blooker, if you will. We got one card. Let's figure out what it is. You're just gonna cast in a response. You're not? Oh, that was a good one to hit. I'm impressed. We did a good one. I kinda wanna keep this up, but that's the all we can do. Because then we get three. I guess we can go block. Block. Oh, God. Wish we had more black sources for sure. She's dead if we play her. We can keep up an Assassin's Trophy. We can also just play Thief of Sanity. Which does actually block 1-1s one and it leaves us open for pretty good. Oh, we can't actually cast that. Nope, cancel that. Uh, wow, so I, yeah. Hmm. Okay, I guess we're just keeping up Assassin's Trophy then. Yeah, I mean, we could have Vivian and Trophy the token, but then we lose Vivian. And I don't think it's worth the two for one, especially when they're getting a land, so it's basically a two for zero. Watch the top take heroic reinforcements. You ready? I'm ready. Okay. So, it was fun getting to watch, but now I'm off to serve coffee to the fine people at Star. TM, have a good afternoon, buddy. I think we have to go to six here. I don't really feel like trading is great for us. If we hit one more land, we can Hydroid Crassus for like a billion. Oh, we can actually play this. Kill everything, but then this idiot comes back. Ah. However, we can play this for five now. Which is nice, because now we can block the Rekin. We also got another blue and black source, which is really where you want to be. Uh, I don't feel like we're attacking, though. They're going to make another guy. So if we block, block, we take three. Yeah, no attacks. I don't feel like we're there yet. Oh, 
Oh, I see. That feels pretty good. That's probably going to be the scoop. That's going to be the scoop phase. Yeah, there you go. God, you can just feel it. Recoiling a bounce land, turn three on the play. Wait, their bounce land? Because that sounds insane. God, I wish I was more familiar. I'm going to take out the Carnage Tyrant. Bring in like a Vraska. I think that's probably better. Moment of Craving seems good here as well. Actually, maybe it's better than Vraska here in this particular match. Um... Again, I'm just going to take out a land. Oh, eh, I don't want to take out an island, actually. Wait, where did the... Wait, why did... How do I get my land back? Uh... How do I get the land that I took out back? This is really weird. Why is this so hard to get back lands? What the fuck? <laughs> Yeah, I clicked the mountain looking thing. Nothing shows up. Do I have to uncheck everything? No, dude. What the f Is this for real? If you board out a land, you just don't get it back? <laughs> I guess, can I go here? No, because it's an island. It's like an island. When I want to add an island. There's no island. I could add this, I guess. Well, I guess that's what I have to do. I don't know how to get lands back, but... Uh, I have not considered either of those things because I just took this deck from one of the premiere events that happened over the weekend. This is just a stock list. This is not a list that I, I put together and had considerations for at all. Wow, that was really unsatisfying. <laughs> I was like, where is my lands? I guess I'll just add this forest even though I wanted the island. Thanks. I did uncheck the colors. Do you not see me? I unchecked everything. I unchecked everything and left the mana box up. Walladil, 57 months? That is not a reasonable amount of time, but I accept it because I appreciate you. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Oh, hey, this button showed up at random. Look at that sweet button. Sure is a button that I can click. You did. And then you typed a bunch of stuff, too, so that's weird. It's almost like you knew. I'm going to get this guy out of here right now. Yeah, like, I don't know. That was just very weird. Like, I feel like it should not be that hard to find a land. The land did not go into the sideboard because it was showing the entire sideboard. That's what was revealed. So if it wasn't among the sideboard cards, then I wasn't there. Thank you. Magic Marker Studios. Thank you so much, buddy. Really, if Hungry Howard himself is a Planeswalker, what colors would he? Probably red and white. And I'm saying that only because it reminds me of the logo. I kind of just want to Assassin's Trophy this, to be honest with you. I don't feel like that's terrible. But they do get to play Rekindling Phoenix, and that's terrible, but... Maybe they don't have a fourth basic, though. That's very possible, right? It's not possible. Am I in the process of watching Ravnica Ring Studio 5 with Soul Mike, and those glasses are freaking awesome. You and Soul Mike put it... That's, that's glad. I'm glad to hear that. I am glad to hear that. Yep, don't like that. I understand you are in need of support. I do. I am. An, I'm in need of emotional support. There's more work to do. Yep, that's a good one. Oh, how nice. So, I guess we play this.
deliver us to victory. I feel like we're in bad shape here, guys. It's not looking good for our heroes. <laughs> I assume so, but I can't really tell. Josh, I actually wrote about your demons deck for my Cool Stuff article this week, so be sure to check that out. Or don't. I don't care. I care. I think we're dead. I think if we can find... I think if we can find, find finality. Find, find finality. Find finality, find, find finality. Then I think we have a, a thing. Nine. Might as well block this guy. Sure, find finale one time. Thief of Sanity, that's close. I'm gonna go to the next game. I don't feel like we're winning this game. Oh, it's not up, it goes up on Wednesday. So, get wrecked. Got him. Oh, biscuits. I think we're fine. I think we just happened to get a good Johnny. Keep! One, two, three. I don't like it. So we can either try to play this on turn two, or we can try to play Elf on this turn. I don't know what to do. I think we probably want to be Lanor, or we probably want to be Thought, thought Erasuring next turn. That is a yikes from me. I actually kind of like Thought Erasuring next turn because I'm not afraid of anything they do on turn two, but I would rather get a Land of War Elf down this turn and down next turn because we have a lot of mana for it. So next turn we'll have four mana. We can go Erasure or Druid. Actually, Druid's probably better. Uh, kind of just want to block this guy, to be quite honest. No. I'll let you have it. Oh, they didn't do anything. That's pretty good. Uh, Tajik is actually probably scarier than these two, for now. I also don't have a second red, but they do have a Tajik for next turn. I want to take the Tajik. Tajik. T Tajik? Tajik? I guess we did have a moment of craving for that guy. Like, we have Vivian for Aurelia. I mean, it might have been Siege Gang, but they don't even have a second red, and they're three turns away. So. Oh, come on.
This actually works out quite well because now we get to uh, play Vivian with a million mana. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Actually, can we go one, two, three, four, five, three, four? No, we can't. That's that's what I said. Let's tear this Feel the wrath of Sarah. We actually should have kept um kept an elf up instead because I'd rather trade an elf for this guy than than an incubation druid, but I didn't consider that. Also, I'm just gonna get a siege gang now. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, I would have much rather gotten an elf here. The wilds are my shield. <sighs> this is my problem with the incubation druids. Like, like they're great. It's like the card is fantastic, but like it just doesn't do much at this particular point in the game. Like, it's just kind of. Alright, well, we got one card left. What are the odds it's a heroic reinforcements? It's impossible, right? I'll sacrifice it and shoot your Vivian Oh. <laughs> You'll have to do better than that. Okay. No, that's fine. They get, I mean, they're losing one extra goblin that they would not have lost otherwise, so that's... Not dead yet. I just powered through some delicious vegetarian brisket. Well, it wasn't vegetarian, but I didn't want to make you feel bad. Wow. Wow. <laughs> oh. Okay. Are you going to sack the whole siege gang near to this incubation druid? That actually works out very well for a thief of sanity. Okay, well, I am game. blocks. Oh boy. You don't have reach, do you? Let's just make sure. Can we get like a, a Johnny event? A Johnny? A Johnny Johnny? Let's find out if we can. Oh! Whoa. Hello! Hello again! Hello! There's a little name. What's his name? I forgot his name. And we're done here. I'm pretty sure we're done here. Are we 2 0 with this deck? Seems good. Dawn status brought. <laughs> Just Dawn, bring it. Come on. You know how to do it. Nope. Don't like that. Sure. 
Oh man, two sneezes? What's the, what's the deal with two sneezes? Alright, so you're playing Grixis Nonsense. Buddy, I got mana for days. No, I said Grixis, I meant Mardu, you're right. I meant Mardu. Oh, that's just rude. I don't know why you'd want to do that. Oh, that's getting that's getting an assassin's trophy for sure. Do I have enough colors for it? Let's find out. Yeah, we do. Uh, Kaya, a second treasure map, and a Mortify. Mortify doesn't care. It doesn't. Eh, Kaya, do I care about a Kaya? Not really. I'll just take the second treasure map. And. When this transforms. I can keep that if it transforms. I think I'm actually going to keep the. I'll keep that on top. I have to assume they'll play something. They're gonna, they're gonna flip this for sure, but... Fascinating. Oh, I guess I, th I thought that was negative two. I guess negative one is actually very good for that. We could hostage take her a treasure token. That's pretty cool. All right. Well. Is this Lana Elf going to go the distance? No, no it's not. Wow, that's negative. You're being negative right now. Oh, an Eldest Reborn, huh? Well, see you later. I mean, the nice thing is, whatever they get with it, we can get back with Hostage Taker. Of course, they do have more time. So we'll have to rely on our second hostage taker. Excuse me. Unless you, unless you didn't hear that, in which case, that's fine. I guess we'll do this for t two. That's unexciting. <laughs> they got a Lana Elf. Uh, is that really the only thing you can get back? That's pretty awful. If we hit a land, we can go hostage take or steal this play again. That's pretty cool. We did. 
Nope, don't do that. Oh, actually, it doesn't matter. Oh, I guess they could kill it with the trigger on the stack. Yeah, that's fine. Austral America, what's going on? This is not... Well, it appears they have nothing to respond with. Argyle Ninja, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. 17 months, that's a good amount of time. Oh, a dawn of hope. How nice. That's not at all impossible to beat at this juncture. This deck seems gassed, though. This Marty deck seems like a blast. One, two, three, four. They can make a guy at the end of our turn. They can just slam it into us. That seems good. They get to draw a card. Oh, no, you didn't. Uh, we don't have the mana to adapt. This just came into play. You got it. You figured it out. I mean, as far as two drops go, one of these is significantly better than the other, I think. <sighs> Girl's tired, and I don't know why. I got enough sleep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They can make two guys. Yeah, we're just gonna go to the next game. <laughs> I don't foresee us being beating a dawn of hope in any normal, any, any reasonable way. Um. Okay, so they're more of a control deck. We can get rid of the cast downs. Get rid of hostage taker. I still don't know how to get our mana back. Like how how do we get our lands back when they when they're gone? So I guess you just don't want to don't ever remove basic lands. <laughs> um. Probably bring in Brontodon over Jade Light Ranger. Probably get rid of Carnage Tyrants. This is seven cards. Negate, negate. Disdainful. Duress, duress. Frilled Mystic. Brontodon. Varnak, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Really appreciate the five months in a row. Take out one land war elf, I guess. Big Vraska does seem good. Probably take out one incubation druid as well. Why not? Well, it is endless. That's a good point.
Joke's on you, I got land nowhere else for days, dude. Yeah, I don't actually like the island in the deck. Like, I mean, we can find finality here, but then... No, we actually can't. We have nothing in the graveyard. They were exiled. So we literally have nothing to do except for play Crassus for one and draw zero cards. Sounds good. Yikes from me, dog. Yikes for me, dog. Oh boy, this is good times, guys. Good times. What's up, Platero, man? Still can't cast this, still can't cast this. Nice, it tapped your treasure map so you can't draw two, you can only draw one. Too bad you can only draw three cards a turn. Pile of Terp? With a P? You can't even spell your name. <laughs> Unbelievable. Uh, do we care about this? Not really. Go, Tem. <laughs> I'm making a new handle. I think you should. I think it's worthy. What? Oh! I'm cringing so hard. I'll take your disdainful stroke because you literally can't do anything, idiot. Hmm. Wow. Nailed it. Ending up at the Hotel California What I love to play Don't have a way to kill my thief of sanity Boom, 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 boom Man, if they don't have a way to kill this with their eight cards in hand I think we're in good shape, guys I should have drawn better You're not wrong
true for my freedom? <laughs> A fair price. And we're done here. If I gift you the Jackbox Party Pack 3, would you consider playing it on stream? Yeah, definitely. I would definitely consider playing. Yeah, I mean, for sure. It would just have to, I would just have to find a time that works. But yeah, I have no, I, uh, I'm, I'm not opposed to that in any way. I would have to figure out how to do it and set up like an overlay and whatnot, but yeah, that sounds pretty sweet. Uh, this seems good. Also seems good. Good for you. I'm actually just gonna play Breeding Pool Tapped here. I don't foresee us playing Cast Down next turn, but who knows? Hope you can't deal with this. Would be great to see you unwind and just crack jokes. That, that actually sounds ga like like gas, buddy. That sounds like gas. Let's do it. Can I wear these the whole time? Is it Palatero Man? Is that what it is? Palatero? I really don't like mispronouncing people's names. Despite the meme that we just did earlier. Such a nice surprise. Give me them free cards, boy. Oh man, a binding and a wilder wildy reclamation. Do we have ways to exploit wilderness reclamation? Not really. I'm just gonna take the binding. I am helping their thing flip, though.
They have three cards? Settle me again, my dude. Settle me again. Settle me outside, how about that? I only got two mana up after that. I don't know what this I don't know what this is gonna do, you nerd. You got it. You got it. You can have all these things, man. I don't even care. Give me a Nexus of Fate. Uh, okay. I kind of just want to keep up Misty here. Frilled Misty. One, two, three, four. Old Misterino. That's fine. It's not ideal, but it is what it is. One, two, three, four, five. God, we're one shy. Do we just take down the shields? Like, we basically have a million cards in hand right now. It's pretty hilarious. If we had one more mana, we could play this and still keep up Misty. Oh, we can hit a land. Let's hit a land. TV, what's going on? Let's just hit a land. It's not going to be hard. I told you guys it wasn't going to be hard. The number of cards I've stolen from you, it's unbelievable. Don't care. Really? One, two, three, four, five, six. You don't have six, you don't have seven mana after this, so I'm gonna do this. Hope you don't have a frilled mystic in hand, which you probably do. Sabotage. I mean, even if we waited to counter the Nexus of Fate, they would still have Sinister Sabotage, so. Oh, that's fascinating. Um, huh. to know. I just don't think that's worth it. Let's just resolve it. That's fine. Get another piece of pie for your wife. That's pretty sweet that that was resolved. We need 
to move quickly. That was uh that was a little greenback boogie. It, uh, someone mentioned suits on my pro on my Facebook wall. No, my well, not my wall, but like in my feed. And I was like, oh, now I'm thinking of suits. Sure. Oh, I have another as Kanta. I have so many as Kantas that I can't uh, even as I can't even as Kanta by as Kantas. Oh no. The problem is, even if we kill the Ixalan's Binding, the other one comes back, so... Yep, that's annoying. Your deck is annoying. You should feel annoying. Oh, that's not what I actually wanted to do. That's unfortunate. I wanted to uh, get rid of the Wilderness Reclamation, but... I mean, I guess they literally just go as Kanta get it back, so... Counter this guy, too. Counter all the things. Okay. Just played Carnage Tyrant there, I guess. We had a one, two, we would have had three. Yeah, maybe that was probably better. Oh my god. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll definitely wish Mike a happy birthday for you guys. Teferi and you're gonna tuck my Teferi and then I'm gonna have no Teferis and you're gonna have the only Teferi. I guess I could just attack it. You need to slow down. A green back bogey. Okay. This is hardly my worst defeat. You have nothing. Well, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If we hit a land, we can eat this guy, then replay it for f six. Let's see what you got here, champ.
seven cards in hand. Okay. Seems good. How about now? That feeling when you just want to die because your opponent is so miserable. Man, Hostage Taker doesn't seem that great here, which is kind of surprising to me. Morgan, what's going on, buddy? Always a pleasure. With Modern Horizons coming, do you think there is one deck that will get bumped into a tier one deck from wherever it sits now? Uh, there's no way to know that. We have no idea what's going to be in the set, right? Like I could, I could say yes, but I have literally no idea. I have not. I, I don't know. I know two cards in the entire set. Like it's hard to say. Yeah, I think Slur is going to get bumped up because I literally have no evidence to support that, and no evidence against that. You know what I mean? Like. At least you get to play maybe teamwork. Yeah, that's actually definitely a silver lining for me, dog. Uh, taking out both of these, just bringing in two negates. I like the duresses as well, but like, what do you even cut here? Um. Probably one cast down. Cut another elf. I'm just not thrilled with the elves. Elves, not elves. See, this is where you want Unmoored Ego. Wow, this hand is nuts. I'm actually going to put this in the, on the graveyard because I have no third land. Elvises? I can see that. You're right, that was my bad. Oh, you're itching. I could have played that on turn, on my turn three, I guess. I guess that was my turn three, right? No. We played first, did we not? Do we miss land drop? No, of course not. Yeah, well, it's just not even fun anymore. I, I don't know if I'm expecting to see any tribal support, really, because, like, it just doesn't make sense. You'd have to have a limited format that supported tribal, which I don't think they want to do, because they just... It just doesn't seem like it's, uh... I, I don't know, it just doesn't seem like... You'd have to... They, like, usually if you make a tribal limited format, the entire limited format is tribal-based. Yes, I get it. Thank you, defeat page. Cool. Um... And, um... Like... Decks like Merfolk and Elves don't really need the support. Like, they just don't... They're just completely fine as is. They actually have an abundance of cards where sometimes you're like, do I play this 2-drop or this 2-drop? <laughs> just had a Tooth Bolt, so that's super fun. False. That is actually not fun. Yeah, 
this hand seems decent. Hummerids, mutants, homunculi, and cat tribal support. Okay, so that is, I'm on board with that. That I'm on board with. I want to see homunculi tribal in modern. That's all I really want, actually. That's all I've ever wanted in my life. Hey, they killed my Thieva Sanity. I never, ex I actually never expected that to happen. That's insane. I never expected them to be able to actually destroy my 2-2 creature on turn 4. Oh, Vivian Reed? Wow. That's also surprising. That's weird. I would have thought she would have taken something, something else. I'm very surprised here. I have a lot of shock happening. Do you guys think the blue shadow eye shadow is on, my, on the glasses? Buddy, these are my eyes. I wish Fine Finale can get Planeswalkers. I'd be getting like Vivian Reed and little, little Idiot back. I want to be honest, my heart is entirely not in these matches anymore. Choice. 
So Mortify is actually just worse, right? Uh, I already went over why I don't think we're going to see a destroy target emblem effect. The problem is that, like, emblems just aren't that big of a deal. It's like having a card that says... Destroy target goblin token. Like, I mean, when you have a card that says destroy a planeswalker, it's so much more effective than destroying an emblem. Like... I, I want you guys to think of the number of times you've had an emblem in play, either against you or your own, in the past... I don't know, 50 games of Magic. And I would have to assume that it's, like, less than one. Or less than five, rather. <sighs> However, if you think of the number of games that have Planeswalkers in them, it's probably, like, a million. <laughs> so, like, it just doesn't make sense to destroy an emblem. It's just a cute thing to do. Hey, look, I'm gonna... Now you got a way to interact with emblems. It's just... That was definitely some Devo. Um, like you probably have like fifteen turns. To deal with to deal with a planeswalker before you get an emblem, like it just doesn't make sense to deal with an emblem. Like the emblem is supposed to be a reward for like you you actually were able to to put this this planeswalker on the battlefield and protect it for like 15, 20 turns, <laughs> you know. And this is your reward for being able to do that. Can I get a land? No, I'm gonna get a thought erasure. That's 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 bum. That's a bummer. I didn't have two black. Wow, that's really sad. Hold that thought. These, these control decks are actually just super obnoxious once they get Azkanta going and like it's just really not fun. Got him. I left him. I got him. I left him. He's just saying random things. Like, I just can't win this game. There's so many cards in this deck that are just geared towards the more aggressive decks. And we're just playing against mono control decks. Like, that's why we're winning against the non control decks. Take out Cast Down, take out Hostage Takers. Like, even Land of War Elves and Incubations would just die against Kaya's Wrath.
Yeah, like, I'm just not convinced that, like, having an elf or a druid in your opening hand or in, like, the early turns is really worth the downside of just having them. In the later turns. Like, it just feels bad. It just feels bad when you top deck this. So, like, even here, like, in the deck doesn't even have enough green sources. How many green sources does this deck even have that, like, allow us to play an elf on turn one? I'm going to keep this hand anyway just because I don't want to mulligan a double land, thought erasure, thief of sanity, elf hand. But it doesn't feel great. So, we have... Four breeding pool, two forests, and four overgrown. So we have ten sources of green that let us play an elf on turn one. That's just not enough. Like, I almost feel like having four land of war elves and, like, el land of war elves in the, in the three color decks are almost a mistake because you just, you're not going to be able to play them that consistently on turn one. Yeah, that's a good one. That is a good one. Yep, would have loved to hit a, four, a third land here, but... I mean, I would love to be able to duress and then uh, play Thief of Sanity in the same turn, because that would be cool, but... You know. Sweet. All right, we're probably just going to draft after this because this is getting less and less fun by the minute. And this doesn't even do anything because now we can't play Thrashing Bronze on. Yeah, I really, I'm not liking the configuration of mana in this deck, unfortunately. Yep. <laughs> Seems bad. Still would love another land. Would also love if these guys were in exile so that our fine finality would actually have some use here, but alas. This is the most feels bad ever. Oh yeah, of course it's not land. <laughs> 25 lands in the deck. 25 lands in the deck. We have consistently missed our third land, our fifth land. Like, hey, there we go. Okay, that's actually good because now we can find finality that dude back. Is it an absorb? Is your last card absorb? I mean, we know you have Verasco's Contempt, but this should at least be one for one. Um, I actually just want the land to be quite honest. Have you considered 60 lands? It's definitely been a, con a consideration. But see, then you just draw all lands, and then I just feel bad as well. So there's really no middle ground here. Okay, so now we're doing it.
Well, I mean, they're just going to Kaya's Wrath. Oh, they're going to Mortify this guy. Okay, that's fascinating. Okay, this is nice. Uh, Fractal, Fractal Cadence, like, that's... That's one way to do it, sure, but, like, the thing is, if you're playing a mono-red deck, you're just never going to draw a land after three or four. <laughs> so, like, it's really, like... I mean, that strategy works for, like, home games, but... I mean... It's very easy to exploit. Okay, well, they're digging. Here comes Kaya's Wrath. Oh, they just die. Here comes Daya's Wrath, am I right? Got him. Did you get him? Yeah, we got him. I want to take out one fine finality. I'm going to just bring in the other, the Brass guy. I just think it's a probably better card to... Um, yeah, I'll keep this hand. Four, I was like, three lands and a bunch of playable spells? Sure. That's all I've ever wanted out of a deck. Quite literally. Oh, I see. No blue cards, huh? Well, I see. Hmm, fascinating. Well, I think we're probably taking the Thought Erasure first. Lyra, I don't care about. Mortify, I don't care about. Eldest, I don't care about. Search, Negate, and Thought Erasure are all I care about. Negate can't counter our Frill Mystics, which is great. Our Negate can counter your Search. I think we're just taking Thought. Put you in the graveyard because we're actually good on lands for the moment. Wow. We could have actually played that un untapped because we have Negate. But if they play something, I'd rather have a Frilled Mystic for it, so. I uh, am surprised. Oh, I see. Well, that's fascinating. Nope, don't do that. Yep, paying another two here. All right. Sure. The problem is we don't have a real way to punish them for these, for their, for their missteps. For their mental missteps. 
You guys don't want to walk in my frilled mystics? Well, that is unfortunate. So we're just going to pass here because we have two Karasis, three counter spells, and a six mana Varaska. Yep, they're just going going the distance here. If we hit another land drop like them, oh, we're able to frilled mystic. And definitely counts. Get another piece of pie for your wife. Green back buggy. They're gonna negate. We're gonna negate back. I hate. Okay, so look, I'm pointing to the negate. Oh, the negate is targeting the thought scour. Okay, the thought erasure. Sure, that makes sense. Oh wow. Oh wow. Yikes. That's a yikes from me. Oh, sup, Alan? What's going on? Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. I will pay to life. We're going to Vraska like we did last summer. And we're going to get rid of this Lyra. And then we still have another answer for another Lyra on board. So that's pretty sick. Double Lyra all the way across the sky. What does it mean? Actually, this is nice because we get to go Hydroid Crassus. Um, never letting that live. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, seven. And lethal on board. Wow, I'm really surprised that uh, it's Alan. I come, Alan. What's going on, buddy? <laughs> oh my god, the streams are crossing quite literally. Oh my god. Sup, Alan? See what I did there? Wow. Now when you watch this video, you're gonna be like, it's gonna be so surreal. What a time to be alive. Oh look, some gems. Look at all these. Man, there's a lot of wild cards. Uh, no. Oh, I don't want to get packs. I don't know why I did that. Probably gonna play one more match with this deck. And then we'll call it a day. I don't know. I don't know if I'm loving it. I think the mana base is a little weird. I don't love... I just don't like Land of War Elves in the, in the Sultai decks. Like, your odds of getting one of your ten untapped green sources on turn one... Along with the Atlanta War Elf, it's just it's not where I want to be. Also, I'm I'm top decking these dudes in the late game. Sultai has so many strong cards, and it's just like, why are you playing all these these garbage boys? Of course, this is the this is the game we get to go turn three Vivian Reeds, so I guess that's cool. We're gonna play this first because it lets because we have a blue we have a blue source anyway on turn two, so if we need it. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we're just going to play Vivian's on turn three. Oh. Oh. Wow. That's weird. Alright, we're doing it. We're doing it. You got it. So if I just drop big vivs here. So we can go one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's not gonna do it. Um, I guess we have to play a land first, huh? This is a good turn three. This is like a modern this is like a modern cube turn no three, my dudes. Restoration was painless. Not a modern cube, but a regular cube. It's like a cube I was gonna say it's like a modern turn three. And then I was gonna say it's like a cube turn three, and then it just turned into this is a modern cube turn three. Eh, whatever. Lands are lands, am I right? Greenback boogie! What are you blinking? That's rude. 
Uh, how many lands do you have? Three? You have five lands total, so we can get rid of this Wilderness Reclamation and you're probably pretty bad. Um, yeah, that could go. We have enough lands here. See, in this matchup, they're fine because they're just not going to get killed, but... Like, you just have nothing to do next turn. Unless you top deck the Wilderness Reclamation. Which would be just like... That would be just Chef's Kiss for you, right? So five. We pump one of these dudes. Play this Vivs. Start, pl start plusing. My newest friend. Yeah, I'll take a a hostage to Cario. It's from the French. That's not French, and that's not the name of the card. Oh my god! Why have you been rude? Come on, my dude. Don't be ridiculous. No, my dude. That can't help you now. It can't. It really can't help you now. So we're gonna go. Oh, okay. They're just dead. That's cool. We had a good game, but it was not a good game. It was bad game. So we're taking out the cast downs again. Take out two hostage takers. We'll leave one in in case they have some shenanigans. These guys, I don't feel like they're gonna die regularly. Uh, was that six cards? One, two, three, four, five, six. I like this Varaska. She's a good one. Take out one elf, I guess. Also, Brontodons are probably better than Jade Light and another elf. Okay. Done. Did the stream die? Are you guys still there? Can someone say hi to me? It's been four minutes since anyone has said anything. I'm getting lonely. Thank you, pernicious dude. Thank you, Nujenma. Really appreciate it, guys. <laughs> what up, baby Drangle? Baby Drangle, do 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 do. I'm gonna mulligan this hand, even though I like the cards in it. I will keep this hand reluctantly. I will keep any any shock land on top. Oh, Morgan, that's uh, real mature, real cringy mature. I'm just gonna play Drowned Catacomb here. Ahoy hoy! Wow, that's a classic Simpsons reference. Nope, don't like that. You got it. Nobody cares about that. Nobody cares about your stupid opt. Guys, listen. Let me tell you something about Magic the Gathering. Power of love is a curious thing. That's what Yui Lewis and the News taught me. It make a one man weep. It make another man sing. That's the power of love. Well, I'm gonna play by wilderness reclamation. No, oh, that's fine. I, don't care about that. I got a hostage taker, my dude. Uh, power of progress. Thank you so much for the bits. Really appreciate it. <laughs> Those are the power of love bits. I'm gonna pay two. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna hostage take this from you. Hydroid Crassus is like the best card to hit off of Hostage Taker. Because if they kill your Hostage Taker, they don't get their guy back. Uh, because it's just a zero, 0 But it's like one of the best... It's also one of the best cards you could cast yourself. It's just best for you and it's best to take from them. It's just a... It's just a wacky, wild and wacky card. This is all... This is all cute what you're doing here. Changing hearts, finally white dove. That's the power of love. Don't get money, don't get fame. 
I'm taking a credit card to ride this train. Um, it could be this. We can keep them negate. I like that. We could also try to just hit a land, which I might like better. Um, yeah, done. I accept. Your cards are just cycling. Can I put this in my regular hand? I like the smoke coming off of this from the Thief of Sanity. That's pretty gas, right? It just looks real cool. You guys can see it really well here. Don't take a credit card to ride this train. But it might just save your life. That's the power of love. Oh, next is a fate. How cool. How absolutely cool. Let me guess you're gonna play that. Get out of the way, little Beal, you're gonna get hurt. Okay, cool deal, bro. Well, you let me know when you're done. I'm gonna take a little nap. We just get to. Don't take money. Oh, what's happening in response? Oh, yeah, I'm good. Then we'll go one, two, three, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't think they have enough to Nexus if they have to taunt to them. No, they just have another one in hand. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, like you do. Auto pass the turn. credit card to ride this train. If you guys are looking for a sweet deal on renting uh, digital cards or physical physical magic cards, definitely check out manatraders.com. Uh, with the link in my description along with the promo code, you'll get 20% off your first three months and their rates are pretty sweet. It's a great service if you guys are just looking to test decks on Magic Online or if you actually just want to rent a physical deck. Yep, this is having this is what fun is like. Or if you just want to rent a physical deck to play and uh, take it to like one event or like a, if you're going to a Grand Prix or like an SCG Open or something. So it's a pretty sweet service. So definitely check out manatraders.com. Link is in the description. And if you use my promo code, you will get 20% off your first three months, which is pretty sweet. So. 
do that. Uh, what are your thoughts on Jordan Peele's upcoming movie ups? Jordan Peele has yet to disappoint me with anything he's done. So I'm actually looking forward to it. Yeah, Mana Charters rightfully uh, reserves the right to refuse service to people who want to borrow Nexus of Fate because... Because they're good people and not scumbags. <laughs> can I just... Is there a chat? Can we make a chat so that I can actually ask my opponent if he's able to win the game or if he's just going to dirtle like a shitbag? I can't tell what the difference is, really. This is a, this is a really fun standard experience I'm having right now. Steven, welcome back. Thank you so much, buddy. I think I ran out of funny sub messages a while ago. Untrue. Uh, I think we've just realized that's not true. So. Thank you so much for the support, buddy. 20 months is a, a sick amount of time. I really appreciate it. Gotta go pay off my student loans. And I don't mean make a student loan payment. I mean pay them off. Like, you know, for the next 20 years that I'll be making payments. That's what I'm going to go do while we play this match out. So, you know, you have a good time. Let me know when you actually have a win condition on the board. Another Nexus of Fate, congratulations! It's like they never have it! Oh, Jesus God. I'm done, adios. Whatever, Frackle Cadence. I'll see you later, buddy. This is just literally like Crackland Ironworks in standard, right? Like, I mean, this is just you're not, you're just watching your opponents do shit. So this is why I don't understand why they didn't ban the card. Like, is it broken? Individually, no. Is it, is it a huge, huge section of the, an overwhelming section of the metagame? No. Is it absolutely miserable to play against? Yes. It's literally an unfun experience. I mean, it's the same thing with, Sh with Sensei's Divining Top, right? Like, it's not an overwhelming percentage of the metagame. They're not an overwhelming percentage of decks that are, being, that, are, that are using the card. It's not overwhelmingly winning. But it's making for an unfun experience for the people who are playing against it. I'm tempted to concede right now, after 20 fucking minutes... Just because I don't... I'm not doing anything. <laughs> like, I'm literally watching someone play Magic the Gathering right now. And it sucks. So... Cool. They also have 13 cards left in their deck, so their odds of not hitting Nexus of Fate at this point is pretty ridiculous. CTB, you ain't going anywhere. No timeout on her? What does that mean? Not if you're making your plays in a, in a reasonable amount of time. Like, it, as long as your individual plays take, like, less than 30 seconds or something, 
then no, there's no real reason. It makes sense because then no one is actually monopolizing the time. Unless you're doing this bullshit where you take all the turns. So, you got me. <laughs> it's okay. I won't, I won't talk bad about top anymore. How does this deck win? I don't know. Bores. It literally... Like, I think 90% of the time, the win condition in this deck is boring you to death. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's the win condition for the deck. Hey, they found a win condition. They have four cards in their deck. Oh my god, if they could only deck themselves. I mean, it would never happen because they would just discard Nexus of Fates and then go back in the deck, so whatever. There's a lot of cards in your hand. I guess we could probably concede now, but... I don't know, man. It's like... Like, I've ever, I've actually never seen the win con. I skip out around five minutes to Nexus. Like, if that's not an indication of a terrible format where, like, you're just forcing people to concede because that's how miserable you're making them, I feel like you should do something about it. That's just my opinion. If you literally have a deck where people just concede, they're just like, I'm done. Without seeing a win condition. Just because it's that unbearable. Please do something about it. It's miserable. I mean, I don't even want to survive. I don't want to sideboard anything because our, our our deck is actually in pretty good shape here. But this is where everyone actually stopped watching the YouTube video, just to be clear. So. Billy, congrats on your finish at the uh, at the GP, by the way. Well done, buddy. Well done. I'm torn between being glad that Frank is not encouraging in this behavior by snap conceding and sad he has to sit there. It's same. That is literally the exact same feeling I have. I'm like, well, I don't want to sit here. But also, like, I don't want to just give you the win. Because then it just encourages you to be like, oh, I can just play this shit deck. And win instantly because no one wants to go through this it's like i can't tell if you genuinely like the deck because i don't know how you could do that or if you actually uh are just trying to get these free wins by people conceding when you have nothing going on which is a shitty thing to do let's be real
I don't think there's a counter spell that can deal with this other than like syncopate. Yeah, okay, cool. Like Thief of Sanity actually seems like a great answer for this deck because you get to A, you get to steal things like Nexus from their deck. And also, like, they just have a hard time dealing with Thief of Sanity. I mean, unless they, of course, play something now. But so blue, blue, green, green, yeah, that's fine. This is also the blue-green version, so they don't likely have um, Teferi. Like, we didn't see a Teferi, obviously. Mm. No, just going to counter this. Like, I don't think they... Again, I don't think they have a way to deal with creatures. They probably have a negate in hand, so, like, if we try to counter this... I don't know why they didn't kick it, though. I guess they want to play an opt. That's weird, because this is just basically an opt if you kick it. Also, considering they don't have sweepers, I kind of want to get as much damage as I can as possible. Oh, wow. Negate seems great here. Also, Crushing Canopy. That's great for Wilderness Reclamation. I mean, we have an Assassin's Trophy, though, so that should be fine. And there you go. There you go. There you go. Actually, I can see them bringing in Canopy because of Thief. Like, that seems like a pretty solid solution. I'm taking a credit card to ride this train. Oh, guess what? Thanks for the negate, brah. Um, I guess we'll take Gross Spiral because it just draws us a card at the very least. Do they know I can pay for this? Seemed good for us, I guess. Sure. I mean, we could just play Carnage Tyrant, probably seal the deal for next turn. I mean, they're just going to have to go off this turn. So they have to have, like, Reclamation and... They don't have Ezconta, they don't have Reclamation, and they don't have Nexus of Fate. So they have to have two of those in order to start... Okay, they don't. Alright, so if you block, you're going to pump this dude. You block here. I think you're still dead. Could have attacked with this too and pumped. I don't know if they have like a fog effect though, so... Alright. So you pump, you take two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
But then you pump this, you still have three of six mana after that, so you can actually pump and then bounce this guy. I don't know. Sure. So now you take... Okay, so you're still going to have to pump this guy. But then we should be able to get uh, Wilderness Reclamation on the board with Vivian Reed, so that's pretty cool. They go to one. So if we just attack with this guy, we'd win, but I didn't really like the idea of that when they had infinite mana untapped. We've reached the Gotham phase of the game. Let's well, hopefully you guys worried. stuck it out because this is a pretty satisfying ending Sometimes to this stupid this stupid deck, but Oh, here's my arch of a rascal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You don't you don't actually have the city's blessing, which is great for us. Hit him with a nice. All right. Well, what is that? Nine. So seven. Draw three. Sure. So if we block here, you take six. Yes, yeah, so you're dead. That'll do, pig. That'll do. I've seen things that would break someone like you. Let's just show you this. Alright, if you guys are watching on Twitch, I'm not leaving. If you guys are watching on YouTube, thanks for watching, really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons, you can check me out on Twitch and Patreon. Links are in the description below. Also, do check out Cool Stuff Inc. with promo code FRANK5, you'll get 5% off. With at Mana Traders, you can use the code in my description below along with the link, and you'll get 20% off your first three months, which is pretty sweet. Even if you're just trying it out for three months to see if you like it, 20% off is pretty sweet. And uh, you can also check out MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore for 15% off and free shipping and free returns. So thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. I will see you next time.